We wanted to pay tribute to Chief McLennan today. In 1914, he was uh, dedicating the new police building down in East Cordova and saw a number of uh, pipers that had for, uh, uh, put together a group uh, who were all police officers, Vancouver police officers. And from that event, he was so impressed by them that he said it's time to form the Vancouver Police Pipe Band. So since 1914 uh, until this year, of course, uh, the Vancouver Police Pipe Band have been a continuous operation, uh, you know, traveling the world, representing the city, the province, and the country. And we wanted to pay tribute to Chief McLennan today because if it wasn't for his, um, his great uh, thoughtfulness and, and uh, uh, progressive thinking, we wouldn't be around. And So on this spot, 97 years ago today, uh, it, it, well, it was quite a story. Um, there was uh, a, a number of apartments uh, here uh, above a, uh, a store, and there was a guy that uh, was uh, Robert Tate, who was behind in his rent. The landlord went to collect the rent. Uh, they got into an altercation, so the landlord phoned the police. Chief McLennan is on his way with reinforcements. They try talking to uh, Mr. Tate. Uh, to no avail, so uh, Chief McLennan decides that they're going to they're going to storm the apartment. Uh, the chief, who believed that he'd never put any man in a position that he shouldn't be in himself, took a fire axe and went to the door and broke down the door. Meanwhile, the chief, when he'd entered through the door, had been shot by Robert Tate. Uh, a fatal shot hit him in the head, and he was dead almost instantly. Uh, today, that's why I'm here. I piped a lament for him uh, and a man that, that you know, is, is very deserving of, of uh, all the accolades he's had over the years.